If you got a pack of chicken quarters and don't know what to do with it, watch this video. Trigger warning, need I say more? Need I say more? Trigger warning, trigger warning, trigger warning. <laughs> yes, y'all already know the routine. Look at that, that is disgusting. I am removing fat, extra skin. Anything I don't wanna eat, I'm not going to eat. Simple, point blank, period, okay? And then I'm making some stewed chicken, so I went ahead and removed the skin because I don't like it in my stewed chicken, okay? Well, I'm not even gonna call it stewed chicken. I'm gonna let y'all decide what this is, but I mean, I think it's stewed chicken. But yeah, I'm removing the tendon. I'm removing the um, like extra fat, the skin, any impurities, anything I don't wanna eat. Y'all know the routine. What? I'm not eating it, okay? Um, <laughs> after you go ahead and rinse off your chicken and clean it, you want to set it to the side, cut you up some bell peppers. I use some green, red, orange, yellow. Then I cut me up a white onion. I use some nature seasoning, gave that a good shake, shake, shake. Y'all, for this recipe, you do not want to use salt because you don't want to make your um stew chicken salty because you're going to use chicken broth. Anyway, I went ahead and used some chicken Montreal, some garlic, roasted garlic and herb seasoning, and a little bit of sazon. Did I use? sauce yeah i just didn't use like straight season salt that's what i'm trying to say y'all and then i added some jerk marinade to it yeah because mm -hmm, i like it spicy and again these seasonings already have like a little bit of like salt in it so you do not want to add any extra salt you don't want to make it salty and it should come out looking like that and then in a hot skillet you just want to brown your chicken Use a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of the pan. Brown both sides. This should take about mm, around like seven minutes, if that, to like brown it completely on both sides. It, your chicken will not be done. It literally will not be done here. You're just browning both sides. You want to make sure that they're getting golden, crispy like that. Make sure that jerk marinade is like like crusted up on there like i love it like that y'all i love it like that in that same pan you want to add those um bell peppers and the onion mixture along with the jerk sauce make sure that you're getting that all crispy like i love it yeah i don't typically put it directly in my pot um i like to fry them up first and then in a separate dish you want to add your um your chicken so i went ahead and um put my chicken in there it was nothing but chicken broth and a little bit of sazon seasoning and then i added a little bit of water just to offset the um chicken broth because chicken broth can get salty so that's why you don't want to add salt because you do not want this meal to be salty i can't emphasize that enough cover it up let it cook let it do what it do baby you just want to cover it up until it gets like that simmered down i let this cook for about i want to say like an hour yeah because literally it was falling off the bone y'all it yeah i had three chicken quarters once i split them up um because i separated the chicken quarters from the um the leg so that's why they look like that so it was like six pieces of chicken y'all it came out so good and it was that was it that was literally it i made some um teriyaki brussels sprouts i paired it with some jasmine rice and then i put the sauce over it and then that's it would y'all consider this stewed chicken let me know it was super quick and easy the chicken does not take long it's not a hard recipe it's so cute and convenient try this out bye